So, for example, now we move over to what the actual formula for this. So, we have an AP series 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Here, if you see, the first term is 2 and the common difference is 2 and number of terms is 2 and the last term is 20. So, we say T1 which is also A2 and T10 is nothing but 20 and D is 2. So, on that basis, if you see the first term is A, second term is A plus 1D, this is T2, this is T1, this third term is A plus 3 minus 1, 2D, fourth term is A plus 4 minus 1, 3D. So, you observe that each term Tn is the first term plus n minus 1 into d. For example, the third term is a plus 3 minus 1 into d. The fourth term is a plus 4 minus 1, 3d. Second term is a plus 2 minus 1, 1d. So, on that basis, the fifth term would be, yes, it is going to be a plus 5 minus 1, that is 4d. So, every term is a plus the previous term's cardinal number into d. So, this is the formula for the nth term of any arithmetic progression. Then suppose you need to find the sum of all these numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. In that case, the sum of all these that is sum in this case there are 10 terms S10 is given by n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, in this case it is going to be n is nothing but 10. So, 10 by 2 into 2a that is 2 into 2 plus n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 into d. d would be 22 which would be 5 into 4 plus 10 minus 1 9 into 2 18. So, 18 22 into 5 110 would be the sum of all these numbers. There is another formula also which is Sn is n by 2 into T1 plus Tn that is the first term plus the last term. But this can be used only if we know the first term and the last term. This can be used even otherwise whether you know the last term or do not know it. So, let us verify whether this is valid for this n turns out to be 10, 10 by 2, T1 turns out to be 2 and Tn is 20. The last term is 20 that is T10 and the first term is 2. This again turns out to be 5 into 22, 110. So, these are the two major formulae Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or we could even use Sn is equal to n by 2 into t1 plus tn that is sum up till the nth term. So, if it is suppose that you want to find the sum up till the 8th term that is S8, it will be 8 by 2 into first term plus the 8th term or we could use say 8 by 2 into twice the first term plus 8 minus 1 into the common difference. So, that will give you this. And a very important point to remember that if you want to find any specific term, say I want to find suppose S2 is given as say, uh, say 6 and S1 is given as 2. So, the T2 is going to be nothing but S2 minus S1. That is, you are taking the first term and second term. So, the sum of these two is given. From that, if you subtract this, you will obviously get the second term. So, that is the concept which we use. Similarly, if you want to find the third term, if you want to find third term, or say you want to, it is going to be nothing but S3 minus S2. That is sum up till the third term. Suppose I want to find just this, this particular term. So, I want to find this term. So, I will add these 3. Then from that you subtract this. So, 2 plus 4 plus 6 that is 12 minus 2 plus 4. 6 will give you the specific term over there. So, always Tn will always be Sn minus Sn minus 1. Always remember this. We shall use this again and again. This is just a simple logical conclusion that you need to apply.
that is one specific term is nothing but sum of all the terms till there minus sum of the terms till the previous one will give you that specific term. So, we need to remember this particular formula Tn is a plus n minus 1 into 2 and these two so that we can apply them accordingly and this concept we have to understand. So, this is what are the basic concepts which govern and which decide everything about an arithmetic progression specifically the first term the common difference and how they are related using a specific formula and candidates can if you want check this whether this formula is valid you can since a limited number of uh, terms have been given you can add all this 2 plus 4 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 8 20 plus 10 30 42 plus 14 56 and 72 plus 18 is 90, 90 plus 20, 110. So, if you manually add all these, you get the same thing. And there are three ways in which we have found that the sum of these terms, one by manually adding, one by using this formula, and the other by using this specific formula. We have used the specific formula and we have manually added. In all the three cases, we get the solution to the sum of these numbers as 110. However, in actual practice, you may not be able to, they may give you, ask you to find the sum of 300 terms, which may not be possible if you list it. This is just a small example for you to reconfirm for yourself how well this particular formula is valid.